I've been trying to get like a greeting. I don't want to be like, what is up guys? Or hey guys, I, I can't do it. So I'm not going to greet you. I'm just going to draw. So <laughs> let's do that. So what I'm doing today is more or less, I'm going to tackle a commission from uh, start to finish. That means I'm going to sketch, ink, and color, but not necessarily in that order. So for today, I'll be using a number two pencil. Um, it's pretty dependable, got me through all my standardized exams, and I turned out great. And I'll also be using cardstock because uh, cardstock is pretty good as well. It's uh, tougher to tear, and I just like to use it. For our purposes all I'm gonna do is scan this drawing and then ink it on the computer but let's say I get carried away in the future it's nice to know that I can use it uh, to paint or ink or do some more stuff so right now I'm drawing Jester from Darkest Dungeon um, I haven't played it but I've heard good things and the character design on this game is pretty pretty good they have really rich inks and very uh, very good contrast so I'm really excited to tackle this I brought up a lot of things in the last video and I really didn't uh, talk too much about it in depth, so I guess I'll do it now. A little bit about me, I'm an autodidact. That's just a fancy way of saying I'm self-taught. But I mean, if you think about the world we live in, can anyone really be self-taught? Isn't the world your teacher? But in the sense of the word, I just kind of started, I've always been drawing and I've just tried to increase my skills by picking up Photoshop and what I can and when I can. So that's what I like to do. And um, I'm gonna try to keep doing it. In the first video, I mentioned the concept of like putting in my 10,000 hours and essentially it's like when, it, when we're talking, when I specifically talk about 10,000 hours, I'm referring to the concept by Malcolm Gladwell, which states like in order to be world class in any field, you have to put in 10,000 hours of practice, but not just like any kind of practice. He calls this practice deliberate practice, and essentially what that is, is focusing on the things that you're really bad at in an attempt to like get better. Things like public speaking, swimming, eating well, being an optimist, all things that I am terrible at. The thing is, as much as I love drawing, I never quite stuck with it. I just kind of would draw for a few days and then stop and then like pick it up a week later, but I've never actually stuck with it, you know? And um, that's kind of the issue. That I guess that's why I created this, this channel, to uh, focus on the things that I'm bad at and to get better at them in time. Uh, the one thing that I'm really bad at and like the worst at is being consistent, constantly making content, constantly practicing. And it's my earnest hope that by creating on this channel, by posting as much as I can, that I'll break the rut and I'll slowly start to see strides. And uh, that's what this vlog is going to help me do. I'm going to just post more every day and I'm going to try to focus on drawing consistently, drawing perspective, anatomy, coloring, composition, blocking, just focusing on the things that make art, at least that make art enjoyable for me, that make art. Jeez, did I say that make art? You know what? I'm keeping this. This is punishment to myself. That make art. Who says that? With, I mean, in my defense, it is pretty, pretty late right now, but that's still no excuse. Anyway, back to the drawing. <laughs> yeah, so back to the drawing. Um, what I do is I uh, take my uh, sketch, I lower the opacity, and then I just begin to ink. Um, when you're inking, it's not quite tracing because you have to like fill in the blanks from your own drawing because it's kind of crazy how much you don't really think about drawing until you're actually tracing the drawing and you see like you missed a spot here and there. But that's what inking does. It brings it all, you know, it makes it tighter. It makes it just better. Flatting is essentially taking blocks of color to fill in the image and then from there you use those colors as a base to mess with um, tone you know and with tone like lights and shadows that gives you form or at least that's how I understand it not to get off topic but one of the things that intrigues me most about art is purpose I mean you can't really eat art and you can't really like do much with art and there are some that would argue that art is utilitarian and it is not but from what I've seen or what I'm trying to understand I think that it's uh, it just it, it it is sort of an emotion art is sort of an emotion that like 
supersedes what you're doing. You kind of just create and your subconscious slowly takes over and it manifests in whatever you're creating. I mean, thinking about eating art, yeah, you can eat art, it really depends on the medium. But I guess what I'm trying to say is creating in, in and of itself is a process that is really unknown even to the creator. And uh, that's what I want to explore with this channel. So uh, I'm sure you noticed I started over again and uh, I went back to the drawing board and uh, essentially back to step one. Uh, the client really, they enjoyed the drawing but they didn't like the, uh, the pose that the, the dude was in so I just had to do it again. And um, let's say that you are, you finally get to the point where you want to start you know, selling your art and put, putting your, uh, your art out there. Um, if a client is like, hey, I, I really don't like this or can you do it again? It's not saying that your art is bad, it's just not what the client wants. And that goes back to art being subjective, you know? So I reworked it and I found a pose that the client was happy with and then I started from scratch. I've seen that art is just a lot of stick to itness, just putting your head to the grindstone and doing it again and again until you get, you get it right. So with that said, just keep doing it until you get it right. Yeah, I'd like to think that I'm talking to some like grandiose audience, but these words are really meant for myself to keep doing it until I get it right. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. So if you sat through this, thank you for hearing me rant. I would um, love to hear what you think, so you can put it in the comments below. If you if you enjoyed this at all, please uh, like and subscribe. Subscribe. God, I mess that word up every time. And yeah, I will see you next time. Uh, take care.